do your thing. That's what makes you interesting. I like it. But, um, uh, you know, they're calling and, fuck, and fucking shit up for you. That was super lame. But have you ever harnessed that power for to and, and used it for good? Like, had them call a place to impress upon that place, like, your power as a uh, an influencer? I think, uh, never to a business, because most businesses want to just take real phone calls so they can make money. My, yeah. I have used uh, the live stream to help me get women. Uh, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. When people say on their you know, social media that they want to fuck them or ice wants to fuck you and and the asshole or something that doesn't help me. But yeah, if I meet a girl and she gives her Instagram or something out, like, yeah, I've gotten, I've gotten laid from the stream before and that's really positive and that's awesome. I, um, I, I, I used to like tweet out, uh, and Facebook out. I've got a pretty big Facebook. It's like, I don't know, close to 2 million people or something. And, and so I would Facebook or tweet out, uh, like the phone number of a business for various reasons, sometimes like an employee was rude to me, like like legitimately rude, and I'd be Can't like, "Can they sue you for that?" I don't fucking know. It's if you just... tweet out like something and they get harassed, I've, I've had to deal with that shit. <laughs> I've never cared. Uh, but what I would do <laughs> is uh, I I tweet out like you know Sunny's barbecue. The chick was a cunt to me. She just was. She she was. So I was like, "Eh, here's here's the fucking mm-hmm. number to Sunny's. Call and ask for April and just hordes <laughs> of people." calling and asking for april and just and we watch the phone ring off the hook and it's they're they're ringing so fast that when the phone hangs up another call comes in like you could you could answer the phone and there'd be a person on the line hang it up and pull again and there'd be a completely different person already on the line they're coming in so fast you could you could do it like that um but the funniest we were in louisville kentucky and uh going to the my friends were going at the strip club i'm staying in the hotel i had a girl coming to me uh, I, I, and, and not a huge fan of strip clubs, but my friend calls me from the strip club. He's like, Hey, put it out that, uh, that you're at this strip club, like you know, whatever the place was, the donkey show or whatever the fuck this place is called. And I'm like, all right, I tweet out like, Hey, I'm, uh, I'm at showgirls or whatever in Louisville, you know, come on down. We'll have some fun if you're in the area. So the phone at showgirl starts blowing the fuck up. People asking for me just constantly, continuously ringing. And uh, my someone, they're like having an it's 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 a whole commotion at the at the strip club, and they and, and my friends like, oh, phones ringing, ah, oh, are they asking for for Russia? And they're like, yeah, yeah, they are. He's like, ah, oh, shit, it must have gotten out that he was gonna be here tonight. We're his <laughs> friends. Uh, he's he's kind of a big deal. They must have gotten out where we're gonna be. This always happens. So they think that he's like, wow. Kid Rock was in here once, and this didn't even happen. <laughs> so they're giving my friends free drinks and stuff, like 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 just just uh, everything's on the house and stuff. So I'm like, well, shit, I'm I'm coming back tomorrow night if it's that kind of treatment. And like, you know, we'll go back the next night, same thing. Just like tweet out like I'm here, phones blowing up. Ah, they they know that's, I'm here, and then like all. All the all the strippers are like, you're the guy, and I'm like, I'm the guy, I'm the guy. It's me. <laughs> I've never experienced a business being positive in that kind of way before. I'm gonna have to try that, like a strip club or something, because that sounds fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, I think maybe I might have gotten like a free drink from McDonald's, and that's pretty much <laughs> it. Like, you know, those I've refills never... are free for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, granted, the, the people calling. Uh, you, they, they must. I guess they were asking for you. I feel yeah. like people, if it's on a live stream, people are gonna call and they're gonna say f- more, a little bit more fucked up shit. Yeah, my 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 fans are are usually nice people. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're nice. You know, they just want to see me get hurt every once in a while. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, speaking of that, I saw the backyard boxing thing. That was fucking cool. Like, like, like. Um, I, I don't know. It was long as fuck. I don't know if I watched it all. Did you? Did you ever get in there and box? I thought you were. I, I did box uh, a little bit. Like, I did, for like thirty seconds, and I was out of breath. And I stopped. You're in pretty good shape too. Like, like, like. I didn't know what you looked like, and you took your shirt off at one point. You're all ripped I, up, eh? I mean, I'm, I'm. I used to work out before I cut my thumb off. Uh, so I guess I have a little bit of muscle base, but I'm just skinny. And I don't. Like I'm, I have no stamina whatsoever. It's I'm exhausting. Like it, it, a lot of people think that they can fight, but I'm, you get in there, and in one minute you'll be breathing so hard. You're exhausted. It's so hard. Yeah, but fight, um, yeah. 